Hello, my good people of the internet. Today, we're back finishing off Succession. We got it. Season 1, Episode 10. What I'm going to call the Shiv Red Wedding type thing going on here. We're going to have a lot of drama here. And this wedding, I mean, what an event to lead up to this entire season. When in Episode 2, when Tom proposed, I, I don't know, it even crossed my mind that this wedding would even happen that quickly, and the wedding is now here, and it's going to be an event because all the major players are at this wedding, and all of them have a bunch of different agendas and backstabbing. And Kendall has to go for the kill for the overtake, apparently, now during the wedding day. So I'm excited. It's a long one, and if you're excited for Succession, for more Succession, like Season 2, 3, 4 and other stuff make sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate that and check us out my other videos thank you guys so much and let's go season one episode 10 succession tom knows tom knows he just doesn't want to admit it but he knows i get it but if you don't allow it i'm gonna punch tom in the face and i'm gonna rip my shirt open i'm gonna take a fucking dump on the ground i'm gonna go ape shit because she's the woman i love do you get it Okay, <laughs> all right. Stick up for yourself, Connor. Is that oh, why is she in the photo too? <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Wait, are you serious? Well, we have to make certain that he has had eyes on it. Yeah, I know, but I assumed you. Right. <laughs> Except he doesn't want to do it. So if I'm scared and you're fucking pretending not to be scared, then fucking you should do it. Good point. Okay, are we uh, ready or what? Uh, sorry, it should be printing. But it's not. I think it got sent to a different printer on there. Oh. Network. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> hey, no. Hey, no, what the fuck? No, not now. Oh, it's a son. Yeah, I'm great. I'm good. Just uh, some big moves. Sure. Okay. No, it's just only 15% of men, when it comes to it, actually shoot an undefended enemy soldier. He shot first. <laughs> What a way to frame that. <laughs> hey, Dad, I know you're here for your daughter's wedding, but here's a letter for you. Fuck you. And deliver it like this, like a gun. Have it in between your fingers. It's gonna happen this early in the episode, too. Ooh, I'm excited. Hello. Hi, Marsha. Hi. Is my father available? <laughs> Why did he start that conversation like that? But it wasn't Catholic, but there you go. Fucking all those kids. Hurt the brand. Hey. <laughs> Proposal to buy Waystar for $140 a share. We're asking you to come to the table, open the books. He is shaking at his voice. Is this a fucking bear hug? That's right. I can say it. Then say it. It's Do stuttering. some good things. Do good things. Are you pissing in your pants? If they have financing and major shareholders, and I'm here. That's what they wanted you. They wanted to cash you off card like that. Socialism, huh? Wow. I got a big problem with you and everything you stand for, my friend. <laughs> Look, would you excuse me for a minute? Oh, yeah. Great to joust a little. Connor, he's going to be the next president. Really? Oh. I just wiped the floor with him in a debate. He buckled under in a debate. scrutiny. In a debate. That was, that was a debate. Connor is hilarious. Ooh, like dancey bullshit, like, oh, you can't say that kind of people. Okay, well, I'm sorry. A snowflake. You're looking for a snowflake, right? He really cares about this yeah. launch. He's been on this for a couple episodes now. Please don't tell me this shit's gonna blow up. Oh, <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. Put that shit away. Never happened. That never happened. <laughs> that is great comedy right there. <laughs> Hello. Celebration. <clears throat> it's a cello fucking bridge. I think I finally found a job I want to do. Okay, what is it? President of the United States. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That is, I'm, I want this arc to happen for him because it will be hilarious. 
But, you know, nothing's more powerful than art. No, sure, you know, apart from the power of the executive branch. I mean, drama can change minds. Yeah, but not really. This is an actual argument they're having. Oh, yes. Yeah, it, um... Oh, sorry, what? How did it go? He's been coordinating a satellite launch. Oh, everybody's now talking about it. This is amazing. Oh. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thanks. It's very exciting. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> Logan, for tonight, shall we... Uh, oh, okay. for tonight. For tonight. Yeah, for tonight, you fucking ambushed me. But now for tonight. Okay. Well, you did, you fucking prick. Go on, fuck off. Get out of here. Fuck off. Blew up. It blew up? Yes, it exploded on the launch pad. Um, that's well, not great. They did that explosion was put huge a lot of pressure too. to accelerate the launch, even though there were concerns. You did. I did, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. I, I just want to say I think it's for you to know. as general And counsel, now they so have your record so you for single launch. Protect me. What are they making this man sign? Oh, okay. They're going to give him money to just leave for the day. The way Roman's launch thing kind of built in the background to literally explode into this big thing. Amazing. Day, a day that, uh, well, I'll, I'll never forget as long as I live. <laughs> Not because of the wedding. Because there is nothing more important than family. Oh, it looks looking right at him when he said that. Is there an advantage? No, I mean, just to, you know, just to, to tell them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. You're like, nah, if there's no advantage, then no. I don't feel anything. <laughs> it's a mental disorder. It's called borderline personality disorder. Why is everybody laughing? Comedian. And no one will tell you different because we killed a stripper. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Knee slapper right there. I would like to also thank for being my rock. Oh. You're cheating on him. So I just wanted to say that in public because I'm getting on and I might not be in good enough health to say it when you remarry. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wife! Uh, wife! Yeah. Woo! Wife! Yikes! Right now. So thank you all for coming and uh, I love you all. Well, if you can't handle it, then fuck off. Who are you? Ooh. I'm Shiv fucking Roy. Ooh. And I'm gonna have two very grateful people, the next president and my father. Ooh. I should put Nate in his place. So what the fuck? Hmm? Dad told us. <sighs> How could you? Smart by Dad to turn everybody against him. I'm, I'm trying to save the company. By fucking us forever. You'll all be very, very, very rich. And uh, I hate to say it, but maybe it's for the best for this to no longer be a family-run operation. Complete opposite from what he said earlier in the season. The fact is, right now we're somebodies. Any doofus can have a few million bucks. Come on. Oh, that is true, yeah. I didn't even think about that. If they don't own the family, the Roy f name means nothing. They're just millionaires. This is because you like the power. It gets you close to the hill. And Rome, you couldn't get a job in a fucking burger joint, let alone a Fortune 500 without some nepotism. And con you like... <laughs> With the assistance of the family firm on my ambitions to become president. That's it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they all really depend on the name and the money. What, what he said about all of them is true. I don't owe you fucking anything. I blame myself. I spoiled you. Your curdled cream. Jesus maybe, Christ. maybe you should write a book or collect sports cars or something. Destroyed. Destroyed. Wow. You're a fucking beast. It all really depends the way you say it in what context. That's kind of a compliment, you know? Like if you go up to your bro and you're like, dude, you're a fucking beast. I see, that's a compliment. But if you go up to me and you're like, bro, you're a fucking beast, man. See, it still sounds like, yeah, it still sounds like. Sure. Yeah. You got, like, just a little, though, in case, uh, in case we want for tomorrow? Are we good, man? No, he's not. He's an addict. Yeah, I could just do with a, a straightener. Take the edge off. Yeah, I just don't think, I don't have any, man. 
This is what they mean when they say you're not ready for the world. I mean, generally speaking, people don't like you. Huh? Shut up. Shut up. You're an idiot. Don't. You're an idiot. <laughs> I really hope he runs for president. None. Like, none, none, none at all. No, two guys lost thumbs, and there might be an arm they can't save, but uh, they oh, might. Oh my god. Bro, that explosion was massive. Guess who just didn't kill anyone, but maybe only lost a couple of thumbs? I, I don't know. This guy! <laughs> I made uh, copies of a few key documents related to all that stuff. In yeah. case I got into any trouble at all. Anybody would be wise to keep me in a good role. <laughs> okay, Greg. All right, Greg. Greg the motherfucking egg. Some guys smoke weed around the back, I think. Might know. You little he's... Machiavellian fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's impressed. That was really smart by him to make those copies back in the day. We were both grown-ups, and we had an agreement. The, we were going to behave in a very grown-up manner. Was it Nate? You know, I want everything to be open and honest from now on. Uh, now? Send him home? Yeah, yeah sure. Good. Oh, please do it in the bad way. I want to see this. I'm just not sure I'm a good fit for a monogamous marriage. Monogamy is like when you're with one person, right? You're not, like, open. And we've got the business angle that works. We're good on that. We, we have a plan. Uh -huh. Wondering if there's an opportunity for something different from the whole box set death march. Wow. She wants to alter this marriage. Yikes. Let's keep this relationship open, but still be together. It is. It's love. It's bullshit. Yes. No way she talked him into this. But I, I do love you. I love you too. Fuck. So, are we gonna do this relation, this new way of marriage, or? It's cool. They paid me up for like the the whole shift. Yeah, uh, and a sweetener. So, what the fuck are you still doing there? Powder? Do you? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That waiter got a lot of screen time. <laughs> In these last two episodes. Oh, I'm sure I'll figure something out. Right. But it might be smart for you to, to leave directly. I got the message. He got the message. Okay. Yep. That's just, you need to go fuck yourself. And if I ever see you in the same room as Shiv again, I will pay men to break your legs. I will pay men. Nice. I'm just going to finish this. My mom and dad made a contribution to the wine. <laughs> so I'd really rather you. That's like the only thing they paid for. Fucking wine back now. Put it the fuck back. <laughs> Just asserting power. Bye, Nate. Let's say, let's say sorry to Greg. Let's, uh, let's go for it. Is that cool? Okay. They're about to crash. I can drive. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm good. He's gonna get this kid killed. The story's gonna lead to this kid dying. Oh. Oh, you okay, bud? I'm fine. Kendall, what are you? This is this is an addict. Yeah. Where is this heading to? This is gonna head into a bad situation. That's where. That kid's dead. Did you get him? Dead at this point. Uh, this is a wild turn to Kendall's story. Kill the kid. Kill the kid. Wow. Wow. This is like a like a video game mission right here. You gotta sneak into this rich big castle. Uh oh, is that at the crime scene? For Kendall's sake, I hope that kid somehow got out of there. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, that's good. And now he's just gonna go to the party like. He didn't just kill a, a guy, yeah. Yes, I am. Hi. Kendall, nice to meet you. My brother Kendall. Hi. Bleeding. 
this this is the representation of that meme where like everybody's partying and the guy like walks in the door and the bubbles like they don't know that I did something. This is Kendall being like they don't know I just killed a man. <laughs> and now he's back just jumping. <laughs> Was it all a dream? This inception? Bad news about my hymen. You know, it's gone. Not with, not with your wife's brother, dude. <laughs> hey. Yo. You good? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Greg sent him to the guy that was smoking. Oh, shit. There's like a, I guess a caterer, huh. a guy like got in a crash and was high or like, I don't know, nobody knows. This guy, he knows something. <laughs> He's their security guard. No, Logan wants a word with you. <laughs> you think he knows? You think he knows? Ooh. Hey, son. Heard you killed a guy last night. The caterer I had an issue with died last night. Oh, that's terrible. I just found out. But, uh, it's a, it's a shock. Stop stuttering. A key card to your room near where this kid went into the water. <laughs> oh, yeah. How'd that happen? Amir saw you. Last night, rather damn. Oh, well, that's how Amir comes into play. Right. Let me handle this. I know the guys. They know our guys. They're good guys. Nah, he knows. He knows he's up to something. Why don't you get in my car and we'll drive you to the plane and then you can relax. <laughs> he knows. He knows. So Amir really just showed up, got a job at animation and became a snitch. Tell Sandy you're out. Tell Stewie the thing looks like a shit show. Oh! Great tear. This could be the defining moment of your life. It'd eat everything. Great acting. Each kid kills a boy. You'd never be anything else. Little detail at a lovely wedding where father and son are reconciled. <laughs> Bravo. What writing? What acting? You're my boy. You're my number one boy. Oh. That, oh, sorry. that feels a little genuine. Oh, no, no, no. Colin! But it also has that hint of, you know, uh, I, I own you. And that's it? No! Ah, uh, That took a turn that I did not expect at all. And I absolutely love it because I had these predictions. I thought that I knew some ways this final could play out. And they just absolutely throw this wrench into the whole mix with Kendall killing a kid. You know... No, actually, you don't know. There's nothing to know. Kendall's fall from grace is impeccable. Well, he never really graced, never really had that. But, you know, he started the season as the kid you want to root for, as the guy you kind of want to root for in this world of shitty people. You kind of want to root for him. Yes, he's unlikable just like everybody else, but you kind of want to root for him. He's the one. And then he slowly starts to fall, 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 fall back on drugs, becomes a really insufferable person, becomes very mean to everybody. In the past, early in the season, he would be kind of the one that's like not really mean to everybody. But then he starts to become very mean to everybody. And then, boom, kills the person, kills a kid, murders a kid. That is crazy. Commits a crime. Like he's he murdered a guy. How is he now going to be the guy that we're going to kind of root for, potentially? I, I don't see that. I don't see how that's going to play out now. Now I'm just thinking that like throughout the rest of the seasons, I'm just going to be thinking of the crime Kendall committed and leading to the fact that like he will need to pay for his crime eventually. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe the rich people, the rich people definitely got rid of it. And maybe it will never come back really again, truly. 
it'll probably come back in bits and pieces but maybe it will fade out throughout the next you know three seasons wow we're done with a whole season crazy right no longer saying four seasons three seasons left but i'm just gonna be thinking that like there's a crime this man committed killed somebody like he will need to potentially pay for it somehow but man what what wonderful writing what wonderful acting by jeremy strong and uh, Brian Cox there at the end. Brian Cox has been on a whole new level. With Logan this season, I talked about how it was fantastic that they started the season with this man pretty much at his lowest, facing this illness and battling for his health. And he's completely broken down. But he still commands every scene, every room that he's in. Everybody's still scared of him, even though he's this weak old man that pretty much was clinging on to his life, right? And then he started to come healthier and healthier and healthier. And by the, by the end of the season, he became the man or part of the man that everybody would always describe him as. Because when he was at his lowest and he was bedridden for a while, people would describe him as this like evil, you know, ruthless person. And yes, we saw bits of it, but not at its fullest bits, right? So then he started to become healthier and healthier and healthier. And by episode 10 of season one, he is commanding everybody. He is feeling good and yeah he owns you that was insane man that last scene where he's like hey like i know i know what you did you're gonna try to hide it but i know what you did just wonderful acting and jeremy strong man <laughs> just that one tear just out of nowhere i was like yeah he's broken that's it he gave up showed his cards everybody knows now but let's talk about some other pieces Shiv and Tom, Shiv straight up told him, man, like, I can't do this one person relationship. Like, I'm going to cheat. And this marriage is good for us because of our names, because of our money. It's a good business thing for both of us. But maybe we can explore, you know, other people potentially. We will see where that goes. I'm still a little bit confused whether they settled it at the end, where they both said they love each other at the end. I'm still confused whether maybe Shiv was like, this monog this monogamous relationship isn't good for me and then they kind of still confess their love to each other when you know what no no let's make this work or in season two they're still married and they have an agreement to fuck different people that could still very much happen with roman <laughs> roman had the funniest bit in this episode of him watching that launch and just just great timing and acting there's a great timing and acting and filmmaking also there was like no audio in there just his reaction just kind of like that never happened didn't see that happen don't know what that was about honestly the biggest thing that i'm thrilled about in the future to see is connor running for president i need to see this and i need to see him go kind of far i don't want this to be just kind of like a thing that he tries a little bit for i want to see him run for president and go kind of far i don't think he's gonna win it but i need him to go kind of far somehow that will be hilarious and it will lead to some funny ass shit. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting this series reaction on this channel. Thank you guys so much. You guys have showed so much love to the succession reactions. And we have three more seasons to go. So we're going to be here for a while. Just want to say thank you. And yeah, I'll see you guys in season two, episode one of succession. In hopefully a few days. And if you've enjoyed this reaction, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in season two. Peace.